My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Moving along to race number five on the day, this is an MR86 handicap over 1950 meters. Three o'clock is the off time. It is the start of jackpot two, and your favorite, uh, odds on favorite, is number six, Lightning Glow. He's at uh, six to ten. It's 11 to two about Red William, 17 to two about Etiquette, 17 to two Whispers of War, and then it is 10 to one and Better Ball. Those. Now, uh, let's start off with number six, Lightning Glow. He's an improving 3 year son of first in Getrix. He's won his last two starts, beating Mr. Belvedere, and last time out he beat Lucha Verde. Now, Lucha Verde did come through to uh, frank that piece of form during the week, and uh, I thought he won a nice race. And this horse, Lightning Glow, is only only seems to be getting better with, um, with each start, and Richard Furry takes a ride. He's gone up six points for winning his last start, and uh, he is a runner that um, I think uh, is heading in the right direction. Hollywood Bet Scottsville, 1950, seems like a track, uh, track and trip that, that will suit him. He seems like a horse that uh, does have a, a nice turn of foot, and uh, I think he's only going to get better with time, this, uh, this runner. And uh, he no doubt sets a standard on uh, the form that he brings to the table. So he's the one to beat. Looking past him, well, I think a horse like number four, Newstream. Now, he's an old boy. He's an eight-year-old son of uh, Byward. He's won five times at the track. And... When we have a look at his course and distance form, three runs for two victories. Now, in his last two starts, he's, um, he's running a slightly stronger company. He ran in the Michael Roberts in his penultimate start. And uh, I think it was the Umtumboti last time out over 1950, where he ran six behind Bella Sikom. Now, I, th I thought those two runs were against a lot stronger. Even three starts back in a pinnacle stakes, where he ran two lengths behind Cape Eagle over 1750. I think this is the right type of race for him, dropping two divisions down on his last three starts. He's running A class company. This is a C class event. He's got 59 and a half kgs on the back. He's on a mark of 85. It's the exact same mark which he won off uh, when uh, Keegan Mello piloted uh, him to victory on the 26th of July 2023 when winning over track and trip. So I think number four, Newstream, at his current price, I think he could be some value in this contest. I think he can run a nice race. I know he is an older horse and what you see is what you get with him, but he seems to be a horse that um, comes to life whenever he runs uh, in these type of races. And this could just be the right opportunity for him to uh, to go close and um, and reward his uh, his owners, Kinmount Racing Syndicate. They've been loyal supporters uh, of Mark Dixon for uh, quite some time. and. Uh, they have uh, owned this uh, son of Byward, uh, so they'll be hoping that he can run a nice race. So I think he's definitely one that I'd include into the play. Looking past him, I think a horse like uh, number two, Whispers of War. Now, um, he's a runner that uh, he used to be a horse that would run his best races from the front. But uh, off late, when they've taken him to the front, he hasn't really been able to put his best foot forward. But... Uh, if he can find his form from a two draw, I think he's definitely a runner that could get involved for trifectas and quartets. And then, and then you've got um, the runners from the guard pulley yard, uh, horses like Etiquette, African Dusk and Banzai Pipeline. Off the three, preference for me is for number seven, seven African Dusk. I think he's a, a runner that is far better on the turf than he is on the poly track. He comes in with just 53 and a half kgs on the back. And at around 16 to 1 in the market, going over this distance, I think that he's a horse that could certainly run a nice race with such a lightweight. So he's definitely a horse that I would look to include into the play. Yeah. So number 6, Lightning Glow, the horse that they all need to set their sights on. But there's two horses at double-figure quotes that I think could run nice races. That's number 4, Newstream, and number 7, Af African Dust. They're both at 16 to 1 in the market. I think include both these runners into those exactors and trifectas. And even a bet like the Swinger, if you are looking to play a, a Swinger bet with number 6, Lightning Glow, well, then my suggestion, uh, my selection will be number 4, Newstream, as the each-way play at 16 to 1. But uh, race number 5, Justin Snaith, Richard Furry, they team up with number 6, Lightning Glow. He brings the right form to the table. He's improving. He's only getting better with each start and he's looking to reel off a hat-trick. He's gone up six points for his last start, but he's a horse that could be a, maybe a bit ahead of the handicap at this point in time, and there certainly does look to be 
a lot more to come from this uh, runner from the snake yard. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone.